you guys came back from uh, <clears throat> from Denver and figuring, you know, seven game home stand. And I know there was the sense that, okay, now it's the time to sort of get some momentum going, lose the first two. How important was it to come out tonight and <laughs> and take this thing? Uh, every game is important for us during this stretch and to show a little resiliency after the last two games we've had. Orlando's been playing great. They're very physical and uh, has been kind of our weakness, you know, trying not to foul and give up the offensive rebounds and all of those things. And after the first quarter, we we dug in and executed and just, you know, play with a great competitive spirit. And we needed it bad. So uh, definitely a great win. It's always nice to kind of, you know, settle the, the storm a little bit and you know, get back on the right track. Now you got to, like we always say, you got to do something about it to kind of back it up. So we gave ourselves a good opportunity to do that playing against Denver on Thursday. Looked like there were a couple of uh, segments in the game when you really kind of mostly on ball just decided, you're gonna, okay, you're going <laughs> to do what it needs to be done. Was there a certain mindset that you carried through that, that course of the game? It's always about just taking what the defense gives you, knowing when you can be aggressive. Uh, I think from really the start of the game, I kind of saw the pictures really well on you know where it helps out was going to be, and when I had the ball, mostly the top of the key, being able to get downhill into the paint, um, and then kind of soften the defense up. We got the ball moving a couple of times. I got some you know, open catch and shoot looks. And once we stopped fouling, we got the, the tempo where we wanted, you know, playing in transition. And that always helps us, you know, kind of create good momentum. So I thrive in those type of, you know, situations. Uh, Steph, speaking of momentum, how much is it going to affect you guys? Maybe if uh, GP2 is out for any length of time, he left the hamstring strain and don't know his status, of course. I feel I want to just feel bad for him because, you know, ever since last year he's been working really hard to get his body in, in where it needs to be to play the way that he wants to play and impact the game the way that he can. <clears throat> and, you know, it's just unfortunate these injuries pop up that, you know, take his availability away. So just think about him and the you know rehab process. I don't know any of the details of where he's at, but hopefully he gets back soon and can just play for a sustained amount of time to really show how he impacts our team on both ends of the floor. You saw it tonight, just an energy boost, and you know he changes the game for us. So I know he loves to be out there. I just feel bad for him. Steph, you mentioned getting into the paint. How? Conscious and crucial was it? Um, you missed your first few threes, but then you had three or four nice twos in a row, kind of mid-range, and it seemed like that kind of sprung you and the team. Yeah, again, it's just taking what the defense gives you. Like, it's very rare when I have more two-point shots and three-point shots. So uh, that's just kind of again settling in, not forcing stuff. And uh, I think the last maybe. Three games, there's been times where I pressed a little bit, and that's why I said I need to play better in those stretches where even if it's not me getting the shot, just making the right decisions. Uh, obviously, I didn't shoot the ball great when I did have decent looks, but uh, again, just keeping things simple. And it was nice to get a little bit of flow and get a little bit of momentum on our side, and then we capitalized on it in the second half too. So. You know, everything kind of worked in our favor that way. What do you think of the new starting lineup and really kind of just more of the whole reconfigured rotation this time around? I know we're going to keep experimenting because there hasn't been one look that's worked consistently, and that's just the situation we've been in all year. Uh, it was not pretty for the first three minutes tonight, but then we responded pretty well. I know there was a couple subs that came in, but... <clears throat> You know, we responded well to win that first quarter, which is huge. We haven't won many first quarters over the course of the, you know, the first 30 whatever games. So it's on us to play better, to play more physical, to stop fouling, giving up offensive rebounds, the simple things that 
even if you're outmatched size wise, like you can play physical and do something about it. We had a really soft start tonight, so the 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 challenge is to stay locked in no matter what rotate or what uh <clears throat> you know five man kind of rotation is your coach puts out there we're all going to get an opportunity and until we f truly find an identity of what works that's the challenge for our team right now what uh what's your swing of emotions at the end of the first half when you get you know you get the n one three but then you you guys obviously give up the, the court. I gave up that. You can put that on me. Fair. I definitely did that. Um, I mean, that's the simple things that we haven't done well to execute. And honestly, those could be, you know, kind of swing possessions that change the, the momentum. <clears throat> Coach McKillop used to call it, you know, Big Mo going into halftime. And that was, it was a tough break that I, I lost Gary in, in transition, not knowing how much time you know was left. Thankfully, we responded and didn't affect us in the second half. But those are the things from a focus and execution standpoint that I gotta get better at. We all gotta get better at if we're gonna take that next you know leap as a team. Uh, Steph, I believe, uh, what are your thoughts on Bon Carroll, and uh, is he starting to become one of the notable players in the league? I mean, he's been playing great all year. Um, I think he's evolved to – he just seems like he's playing way more patient, knowing he can get a – he's such a physical player. Uh, him and Franz and Wagner, are like, they try to get – they can pretty much get wherever they want. It's just a matter of, you know, them, you know, making or missing just because they're, you know, that physical and – you know, skill with the ball, but they're both, they've both taken a leap and that's reflected in their record. And, uh, yeah, two young guys are starting to figure it out and they're, they're tough. You gotta, it's not really going to be a one-on-one -on -one type situation. You gotta have all five guys ready to, to defend, um, cause they're kind of becoming game changers on that front. So they got a good thing going for some young guys that are, you know, running a team.